This is Jonathan Agioff here for Pro Boxing Fans. We're down here in Liverpool today at the final press conference. Joined by Chris Vernon Smith. How you doing, mate? Been a while? Yeah, all good. Cheers, mate. You all right? All good, all good. We've just seen the press conference for you and Craig Glover. Little, uh, you offered him the handshake at the head to head. Didn't want it. Is this just the usual fight week? Are you used to this? Yeah, I mean, he's trying to get in the zone now. It's Thursday, we're not fighting until Saturday. Um, whatever. It makes no odds to me. Like, like I said, there won't be any any handshakes on Saturday night. It will just be trading trading punches. So uh, I, uh, it, it means nothing to me. I, I respect people until I get in the ring with them, um, and then. But he obviously doesn't. So whatever. Just want to go back to July. I didn't get to catch up with you after the Riapol fight. Didn't go your way. How difficult was that to take? I know you you went in there pretty confident. You thought you got the win. Still disappointed about that, or have you sort of moved on, ready for the next fight? Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. You can only control what you can control. So there's no, no only only point worrying about what you can control. Um, what I can control is training, my ability, and, and, and improving since that fight and, and learning from it, um, which is what, what I've done. Um, now I've got another good domestic fight and uh, against a good opponent. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward just to, to getting uh, getting back in there on on Saturday. How did this fight come about? Because as far as I know, you were looking for a sort of a six round, eight rounder back in the South Coast. When did you get off with this fight and did, was it a fight you had to take? Uh, no, I, I wasn't looking for a six or eight rounder. I wanted another big fight, but I thought everyone was tied up and all the belts were going to be tied up. But obviously Lawrence winning the European um, was going to free up the belt and we knew that. So we, we got the, this fight got offered to me and I, I I got excited straight away. You know, it gave, gave me, uh, you know, really, really got me excited when I was on the phone. I was like a little kid, um, and it's, it changed, changed my mood because I was a bit in limbo um, about what I was going to do. And I was, it was a training. I was, I was already training down in Kent and stuff. But um, yeah, then it just this fight came up, and I, I took it with both hands. It's a, it's a great fight. It's, it's one that I, I've, I've, I've said a couple of times to Shane. I mentioned before that it got offered. Um, so yeah, it, um, it's, it's, it's a great fight and I, I jumped at the opportunity. How confident are you going into Saturday night? You said you sparred him once before. I presume you don't take much from that, but is it just, will that performance against your app or you took him all the way, will that help you, do you think, on Saturday night? Yeah, the experience is there, um, but Craig's got the experience as well. I mean, he was in there some of the Lily who was probably not his best that night. Um, I know a lot of people, I think he missed the weight as well, so... That, that suggests people usually aren't taking their training seriously. Um, but he's had his domestic fight, but since then he's gone downhill. He, I think he got a bit overconfident um, and, and and obviously came, uh, fell short when he, he, he boxed a, what was meant to be a bit of a, a tick over fight. Um, but yeah, it's. it's uh, for, for me, I've learned a lot from the Ratpool fight. Um, and I will be, I will be all guns blazing on Saturday night. I think you'll see a, a different version of me on Saturday night, um, but a very, very technical one, but also a very vicious one at the same time. Just last one on that Riapol fight. I know, in training you were sparring your stablemate Lawrence Acoli to get used to the style. Both heavy hitters. In your opinion, who hit hit you harder, Lawrence Acoli or Riapol? Lawrence is a bigger puncher than, than uh, Richard Riapol. Um, Richard can, can punch, but um, Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence, is, he's massive for the weight. Like he's he's bigger than he's bigger than Richard. Um, he, he's his, his physique. He, he's slightly taller, but also he's wider, um, and he's just got a bit more. I don't, I don't mean to disrespect Richard too much, but he, he, Lawrence got a bit more of a boxing IQ, um, and we've we've really brought each other on um, in in that that training camp. Um, I think really brought us both on because um, you know I, I, I've he helped me improve and I helped him improve as well. But um, yeah, I'd say uh, Lawrence definitely hits harder than him. Echo Arena, I know you fought there as an amateur. Just talk to me about that fight you had as an amateur at the Echo. I actually boxed there four times in the ABAs, so um, yeah, it was uh, it's good. I boxed a boxed a lad from up here for a scouse lad called uh, Nathan Qualis. He I boxed him in the quarterfinals, so that was. A mini taste, and I think that that's why uh, 
maybe maybe there's a bit of destiny involved, a mini taste of what tonight's uh, sorry Saturday night's going to be like because there was he had a, he had a fair few people there all shouting and uh, silenced them on on that that day. Um, we got the win over him and he, he's, he's a pro now. He's a good lad, um, nice kid as well. But um, yeah, it was uh, so that was a nice little taster for me. Um, bigger stage Saturday, bigger bigger crowd against me maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm looking. Look, really looking forward to it. I mean, just the, the whole thing, the arena itself. I, I love the arena. I love boxing there. I'm staying in the same hotel, so I don't feel like sometimes you go away on a fight weekend and you feel like, well, this is everything's new. Um, but it doesn't. Nothing feels new to me. I feel comfortable, um, and I, I love fight week. Uh, and I just can't wait to get in there Saturday. I mean, you are the away fighter again, but at the O2, there's so many uh, fans you took from Bournemouth. I think you said you sold over 200 tickets. Are you expecting another takeover? At, in Liverpool from your fans from Bournemouth? Uh, it was one of my best mate's birthdays that night and he'd already planned it and booked it in so a lot of them are staying back home which is fair enough it's a, it's a long trek they're going to wait for the, the homecoming fight I think um, but yeah it's uh, obviously a bit further for them it's an expensive weekend away It's uh, Christmas is coming up but they're all watching it uh, at his party on Saturday night so they're all going to watch that and then celebrate back home and I'll have to celebrate with them a, a week later um, but yeah, it was. Uh, so it won't be as many. I, I, I didn't do as many tickets for this fight um, as expected, really. But um, yeah, it's, it, there'll be a few people there, and the ones that are coming, I'm sure, will be will be loud. Um, so we'll, we'll see on Saturday night. I'm not sure how many Craig does. I don't know if he's a massive ticket seller or not. Um, but yeah, it should uh, it be interesting. My lot will definitely be be making some noise. Should you win on Saturday night, you will win the Commonwealth title, first prof- professional title. Does that mean anything to you with this Commonwealth belt? Yeah, it means, means a lot. It's um, maybe it's just the the fight, the situation of the fight. Anyway, you know, it's but the the belt means a lot, and it's a belt that you you have your eyes on when you turn pro. It's 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 a, it's a step in belt. You know, British and Commonwealth sort of come come hand in hand. Commonwealth just below the British usually, but it's definitely a um, a respectable belt, and it's a belt which I'm I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on Saturday because it gives you opportunities um, but also the fight itself really you know it's one you can get your, your teeth stuck into it's the, the the fight itself it's not like I'm a lot of people fight Commonwealth against people from Africa who no one's ever heard of and, and they've, they've, they've already got uh, a load of losses on their record or whatever but this is a proper fight that's the beauty of it so um, yeah I'm uh, I just I can't wait the Commonwealth belt will, uh, will, it'll look good at home a lot of the talk in the press conference about this potential day at Anfield next May. I know you've said countless times about fighting at the Vitality Stadium in Bournemouth. Does this become more of a possibility if you win on Saturday night or does it have to be sort of a European, a world title? How do you see that fight at Vitality? What has to happen for that to happen? Uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to profile. It always does, uh, regardless of, of what belts you've got. We've seen world champions in the past which have now still got to work because it, it, they don't bring in a crowd. Um, so I think the fan base is growing back home, but I'd, I'd love to win this. And if I can't get the Riyadh or sorry, the winner of the Riyadh Massey fight uh, for the British next, maybe could do that, um, do a defence back home at a smaller venue. Um, I don't think it's got to be a European or well, but it's, it's got to be, the, the profile's got to be there. Um, and the profile's growing all, all the time. So... You know, I've, I've I've got that in the back of my mind the whole time. On Saturday night, it's I'm fighting for 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 a town. I'm not just fighting for for myself and, and my family. I'm fighting for a whole town, and I want to bring big shows to Bournemouth. So that's massive motivation for me. Um, there's a lot of lads coming through, and a lot of boxing's massive in the area now. So all that motivation's there. I, I seem to have been put in the spot of spearheading it at the moment, but there's plenty of talent coming through. Um, and so it's, it's up to me to do the job on Saturday and bring some massive nights to the town. Do you feel like you are the spearhead in Bournemouth? You've obviously got lads like Lee Cutler and others. Do you feel like you're the draw of the town at the moment? Only because I'm, I'm further along in my career. That's the only reason for it. Obviously got great backing from the McGriggans and stuff. So that, that, that plays a massive part. I've boxed on Sky. Um, that's the only reason. It's just the opportunities I've had and have taken. Um, and the situation I'm in, it's not nothing to do with me being 
you know, bigger than anyone else. It's just the timing of it that, that I'm older than the other lads and I'm further along in my career. That's all it is. One of them would have done it as well, but um, now I'm, I'm up there. We need to, to keep it going. Just a few predictions I want to get from you. You mentioned Richard Riappel. He's fighting Jack Massey for the British title. How do you see that going? And is that the natural fight if you win this on Saturday night? Yeah, I think so. I think there might be a final eliminator, so the, the winner might have to defend um, defend their belt first before before they fight me. So um, we'll see. But I see Richard coming through that only only for experience. Jack's a good fighter, but um, I think Richard's experience, especially you look at his last three fights, been Sam Hyde and um, Tommy McCarthy and myself, and it, he's got to have learned a lot from those fights. Um, obviously, the last fight was it was his closest yet. Um, so we learn from that and I think Massey hasn't had that he hasn't had any tests as pro he's been pro since 2013 when I was his last fight in the amateurs um, and then he, he hasn't you know, we haven't really it's the first a lot of people have heard of him um, he hasn't really had a I don't think he's even done a 10 rounder yet I'm not entirely sure um, but he hasn't had a 10 rounder and he's he's the experience isn't there the domestic fights I just think experience will, will win the fight for Richard Saturday night also Wilder Ortiz I spoke to David Diamante and he told me a little story about how you watched the first fight with him Barry Shane and Josh Taylor how did you see that fight going? Um, I, yeah it was a, the first fight it was a wicked fight we were all up um, it was Josh Taylor against Winston Campos March the 3rd uh, March the 4th by the time we watched the fight I was actually fighting the week after everyone sat around watching um, watching the fight eating dominoes on there with some peanuts and um, munching on them because I was making weight but uh, it was uh, it was a cracking fight and I, but I just think Ortiz is that little bit older while to, Wilder's that little bit more experienced and I think he'll stop him in the middle rounds and a couple of weeks out from Joshua Ruiz the rematch do you think Joshua does it or does the belt stay with Ruiz? I don't know. I hope Joshua does it. Um, he's British. Um, he's done an unbelievable job for British boxing. Um, he's he is the spearhead of British boxing, and he's everything that you know us at my level and lower level. We got a lot to thank him for. He's done an absolutely unbelievable job. So I hope he does it. Um, he has to make a couple of adjustments, not huge amounts, I don't believe. Um, but Ruiz has now got that belief. Um, whether he had it before, he would have had a slight bit of doubt before, just because of the way. He, the media is and stuff but now he's got that belief and he knows that he can knock him out but a lot of talk Joshua not being right that night he'll be right this time because he, he, he left no no stone unturned so it makes for an interesting night I, I, I don't know what way it's going to go um, if Ruiz does come in lighter that a lot of people have said I don't think that will benefit him I think he'll take won't take a shot as well um, and and he's quick anyway at the weight and that he'll lose a bit mate might lose a bit of weight behind the shot so i don't think being any lighter like if it's extreme amount it's going to benefit him too much but um i think joshua will make the right adjustments maybe and, and come through um i couldn't i can't give you a definitive prediction unfortunately but uh, i'll be up watching it for sure and um it'll be it's a big night for for british boxing Final one on your stablemate Josh Taylor. We obviously saw at the O2 unbelievable performance to beat Regis Progress, become the unified champion. It's been talk of who's next. First of all, how's how's he been? Have you seen him recently? And secondly, does he take the unification uh, undisputed fight with Ramirez, or would you like to see a domestic battle with, say, Lewis Ritson at St James's Park? Um, I haven't spoke to. I spoke to him on the Monday after the fight. I've FaceTimed him and. His eye was closed, uh, but he was in good spirits. He's he's the boy, isn't he? He's the boy, um, and he's done an absolutely unbelievable job that night. He's he, he needs more props. Um, he's 16 and 0, and he's a unified champion in a tough weight division. And he's got the ring magazine belt. It, it's it's unheard of in the, in the, in this country. You know, it's oh sorry in in UK. Um, he'll have a go at me if I start calling him in English. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's only going to get better. Um, I'd like to see him have a break and see how he is after, after, after Christmas and not fight. Don't be looking at end of Feb, early March. Be looking maybe April, May time. Um, he's just been out to Saudi enjoying himself. So yeah, it's, um, 
the Ramirez fight's one I know he wants it and that will definitely he'll be bang up for that Richardson is a big fight but I just think I mean it's a business at the end of the day so if it, if it makes money it makes sense in, in business but um, the Ramirez fight is obviously what he as a the fighter in him will be will be wanting um, he'll be wanting though to become undisputed champion I mean if he does it in 17 fights or 18 fights it doesn't matter it's still an unbelievable achievement um, but it'd be it'd be interesting to see what he does next but uh, I can't wait to see him have him back in the gym because he's a great laugh and uh, yeah and just watching him spar and learning off him all the time as well um, as the other lads so yeah it's uh, I, I have no idea what, what the plan is I don't know if talks have been in place or anything I know he's been enjoying himself and he deserves a good good rest and uh, I'm sure he's had a few few ciders um, and a bit to eat but uh, yeah I look forward to seeing him. I think we're going to go and see him hopefully before Christmas but um, don't know what's next Finally what motivates you? What, give us some motivation what motivates you to, to box? Is it recovering from that shoulder injury which I know almost finished your career what is it that motivates you? It's just uh, so many things I've got family that you know they, they motivate me they always have my family but it's always been bigger than just uh, doing myself proud and doing my family proud it's always been to inspire you know younger generations and stuff and I had that a bit in my amateur club when I was boxing the amateurs and reaching ABA finals etc and GB assessments there was kids there that that you know would would come to the club and and they they'd, they'd, you'd see their faces and, and that's an amazing feeling um, and I just want to yeah I want to inspire generations back home um, back in Bournemouth and bring, put boxing you know Bournemouth on the boxing map um, and it's definitely happening it's happening now and Saturday night will be another big step in that direction Chris Williams-Smith appreciate your time as always and best of luck on Saturday night mate